Visa Halftime Report is brought to you by Visa. It's everywhere NFL fans want to be. And there's an enthusiastic crowd on hand here at Ford Field in downtown Detroit. They'll be here for the game coming up later today. The Lions hosting the Green Bay Packers as we bring you the rest of the halftime scores. Right now, Philadelphia and a penalty play first half for the Dallas Cowboys leading. First kickoff return for a touchdown for the Dallas Cowboys since Jimmy Johnson's last year with the Cowboys as their head coach. Reggie Swint returns his kickoff 100 yards for the touchdown. Cowboys go on top over the Eagles 7-3. to three. Back comes McNabb down the right sideline, man to man. Bump and run to the fly route to James Thrashart. Take off 10 all. Two-point conversion. McNabb inside fake. Everybody goes inside. Outside goes McNabb. 20 to 10. Now Eagles over the Cowboys. Cowboys with seven penalties in the first half. Emmitt Smith now Saints back. Guns it to the That's right. 20 to 14. Bears over the Saints at the half. Carolina, JB, Rodney Pete had not thrown for a 300 yard game in 10 years till last week versus the Lions. Have another pretty good game, but look at this. Corey Chavis steps in front, hits this pass off, returns it 33 yards deep into the Viking territory. Minnesota up by seven. Big inside from one yard. Touchdown. There's that seven, and it's still seven. Uh, you know what? Panthers, much improved football team. Not, not a very exciting game, though. Dolphins trying to snap an eight-game losing streak to the New York Jets on top by 10. That game at the half. Chiefs, the oldest squad in the NFL, nursing a one-point lead over the defending Super Bowl champions. Tim Couch did start for the Browns, but the Titans on top, 21-7 in that contest, and the Colts blanking the Houston Texans by the score of 13-0. That game in the third period of play. Dallas and Philadelphia. Talk about it, Jimmy. Well, you know, I think Quincy Carter's really playing a fine ball game. He's been very efficient. Special teams have kept him in the ball game, but they've had a lot of penalties, and those penalties come from the aggressiveness. They're playing with a lot of heart. They're really giving a great effort. Campbell's got them playing. Well, you know, if they've learned anything, the Dallas Cowboys from week one playing the Houston Texans, it's such a game of high emotion, and Dallas is certainly playing with a great deal of emotion, but Quincy Carter's had an efficient game, but they can't seem to sustain drives. One for five on third down, and if it's not for special teams, you just get the feeling that Philadelphia is on the verge of breaking the thing open. Well, they haven't been able to run the football so far, Dallas had, but I I have been impressed with Quincy Carter standing in the pocket. I thought they'd really, the Eagles would come after him more. But what, when they have made their blitzes at him, JB, the blocking scheme of the Cowboys has been efficient. He stepped up, he's 11 for 14, a little over 100 yards in the first half. Glad to see that you will acknowledge if, in fact, the brother's having a pretty good first half. Huh? He, 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 he ain't got a... nothing to do with him being a brother. He's playing good football. Oh, they didn't hear you doing a commercial break. Go ahead. No, he, he's an interesting quarterback. Sometimes he is really accurate and sometimes you'll throw it 10 feet over the He's receiver's head. Interesting quarterback. <laughs> I like that. Interesting yeah. quarterback. Now you can tell by his expression what he was that. really thinking. Absolutely. Glad they can't tell with me. Back to Dallas and Philly after this. <laughs>